everyone, Linda here. Today I'm going to be doing this. Can you see? My lovely bird cage. That's what we're going to be doing today. Um, so this is my last spring project and um, for this month, March. And uh, I, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to turn to overhead and let's get moving. Okay, so all the pieces have all painted now. We've all got that nice old gold look to it. So I'm just going to place them to one side for now because what I want to do next is I've got a piece of dowling and I've got my um, glossy accents and what I want to do is around both ends, let's just see if this comes out, no I know it won't, I'm just going to get my glossy accents I'm just going to put some round the outside round this round the edge of my dowling and what I'm going to do then is hopefully wrap this uh, string around it and hopefully it'll stick I'm hoping it'll stick because I want to have the bird sitting on this dowling inside the bird cage so if I just leave that like that so I've done that edge I'm hoping it'll stick if not I'll have to use double sided tape but I just thought this might work you never know glossy accent usually sticks anything to anything but I just thought I'd give this a try and I can leave this then to dry then but if it doesn't work, I'll, I've got another. I've got another plan. So she says. Hopefully. Hold on. I should do it the other same way. Doesn't look like it's going to stick. Doesn't look like it's going to stick. I need a peg, don't I? I don't know if there's any pegs in here? Oh, I've got a peg. I know it's got something on it, but I wonder if I put a peg on it, it might hold it. Oh, good idea. Right, so I need to make sure that I do it the same way. So that goes around there. So if I do... Is it this way or this way? It doesn't make any difference. So if I do... Just like that. that. It's just if I've got another peg, and we can put the peg on. Wrap this round like that. Usually, I've loads of pegs. We had a couple of them. Doesn't look like I have. Sorry about the noise. Hold well on, let's see if my tweezers will hold it. There we go. My tweezers will hold it. Sorry about that. Right, okay, so now I want to 
get this put together and first thing I'm going to do I want to put these together and these go in here like this but first I need to put a bit of glue and I'm going to use my glossy accents and I'm just going to use it inside this I'm going halfway round first, I'm doing half and half first otherwise I'll never get these in without a struggle. I learnt that from doing it for, when I put it together the first time. It was quite um, a difficult job. I'm not sure if I've got that one in fight. There we go. This one. I know they're in. See, so I've got half of it done. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to put this piece of uh, I've got this piece of string that I'm going to thread through here because it'll meet. It'll come up the centre, and you'll be I'll be able to hang this up then. This will go on my website for sale. So I'm just going to leave that like that. And at this point I'm going to um, fast forward. Because um, you don't want... I'm leaving them till the end. I'm leaving that one till the end because um, I'm going to, um, I need one left off because I need to sort out the bed and I think I'm, I'm going to do the bed kind of from this one so it comes down from, hold well on. Bagel, bagel come down from these two.
right there we are so that's the completed except for them I'm going to put them on last so now I've got some, uh, I need to plug this in right so what I'm going to do what the plan is I'm going to have the bed coming down here on the dowel and then I'm, I'm going to have some moss with some little flowers and just up two sides I'm going to have leaves and flowers um, and then I'll put, I'll put these back in then I've left these out just so I can, I can get my hands inside really so I've got this moss didn't want green this time and I've got all these little flowers I'm not going to use them all obviously but I just got grabbed an assortment of tiny flowers out my stash and I've got these nice pretty coloured leaves instead of greens just thought to have a change so I've got them and I've got them and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to at the end around the edges I'm going to add some of PBO antique gold gilding but that's towards the end so as you can see it'll, it'll dangle so I'm just going to start and arrange this round in here and what I'm going to do on there is I'm going to use some extra heavy gel. I'm going to uh, paint some on. Because I know from experience that um, the moss doesn't like to like the um, the hot glue um, and once it sticks to this it will not move if I, lie, I, I can't really lay it down so if I can tip it no even I Hold on. If I stand up and tip it, then hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'll try not put my head in shot. It's a bit difficult. That's odd. Point, what I might do is I might change the angle of the camera and bring the camera down so two minutes and let's see if I can give you a better view of me decorating this cam uh, this um, bird cage bear with me they are brought you down so you can see the ang the angles better isn't it so you can see me decorating <coughs> excuse me sorry about the interference but I just wanted you to see me decorating the um the bird cage and with you being up above you can't really see i know sometimes it's better but i think for because the bird cage is quite how it is you can't see what i'm doing and i want you to see what i'm doing so all i'm i've got this nice moss and all i'm going to do is just um just de decorate it place it inside maybe
I have actually started some because I've got limited space all the projects that I do um, <clears throat> I'm running out of space so I am going to start and actually um, I'm going to start and sell some of my work so if you go on to my website and I'll put the link below um, then you can you'll you'll be able to see what I'm selling. So that's all nicely done. So now I'm going to just add a few leaves and flowers. I've actually decided this is my um day three of my spring for March. Um and I've actually decided what I'm going to do for April and I'm going to do three days of boxes so I'm going to th I've got <laughs> I've got uh, three three um going to be doing three different styles I've got lots of boxes I've got underneath my desk here I've got one two, I've got four shelves full of um canvas um canvases i've got frames i've got all different manner of um mdf boxes all sorts of different things so um yeah so that's what i'm going to do for march so if you've got any suggestions that you would like to see me do then please leave a comment um it would be fun and for the first time in 15 years, I'm on a de not on a design team and I'm so enjoying the freedom of um, creating for me, getting back into what I love to do. You'll be seeing a lot more steampunk, vintage as well. So, um, yep. I'm not saying I'll, I'll never join a design team, but at the moment I'm join, enjoying the freedom of working for me, using up my products, the product, not my, mine personally, but using, using stuff to create projects that I like. So there we are. And what I've done now is I've added a couple of leaves inside there. And I've got lots of different coloured little rose buds, rose roses. So I've got yellows, I've got variegated, I've got purples, pinky yellows, I've got beiges. So I'm just going to add a selection of threes. You know me and me odd numbers. I like to do it in threes. So if I just bring that close, can you see the, the moss and whatever now? So that's that done. And uh, let's see if I can bring this in and see if um, see if this is stuck. Oh, nice. Oh, it's worked. See, it's worked. So now I can drop this inside here and bring this up and tie this now, she says, hopefully. I hope it works now, hold on.
There we go. Maybe I just should have done it a bit further. There we go. Oh, 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 oh! Birdie's falling off. I had him right the first time. Oh! There we go. His tail actually just stops him from falling off, so I'll leave him for now. So now I can actually put in these these last bits. I'm just going to leave him for now and leave the things so that I don't... Um, I'm just going to stick the last of the, the last of the slats in. So it just finishes it off, doesn't it? It looks now that the other slats are in. I don't want to touch that bit because I don't want him to come off. I'm mortified if he falls off. down there just so I know that he won't fall off while he's there uh, while the glue's setting I never used to use this uh, clear glue you know this uh, glossy accents is for gluing I was used it for other things and I saw somebody on YouTube using it and I thought oh what a fab idea because it's clear. I know it's quite expensive, but for MDF stuff like this, it's brilliant. So I can't remember who it was, but whoever did it, it was. Thank you very much. Brilliant idea. Just tying this off, giving it another another loop, so to speak. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a dot of lock glossy accents before chopping it off. Just so it'll stay kind of thing mm. there we go Right, so on these two sides now, I'm going to add some flowers so, and some leaves. So, um, I'll turn it round so you can see what I'm doing. Put all these leaves, uh, flowers. Well, just 
working my way up. really enjoyed doing this now that I've finally done it. What do you think? Looks quite cool doesn't it? And I've, I've just moved the flowers and I've got can you see here through the top I've got this string so you can hang it up and there's the bird I've got a white bird somewhere and I can't find it so I'm just going to finish decorating and um, at this point what I'll do is I'll, I'll fast forward and uh, while I'm decorating the uh, the sides for you. There we are. All I've got to do is just snip them off. And now I'm just going to use a bit of gilding, uh, gilding wax and I'm using antique bronze and I'm just going to Go around the the edges. Go around the edges of them.
there we have it. The bird in the gilded cage. So all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, thumbs up and share with your friends. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.